So we can set front panel objects to scale or automatically resize in relation to the pane size. When we resize the pane, we can set one object on the front panel to scale or we can set all objects on an owning pane to scale. However, we cannot set multiple objects to scale on the front panel unless we set all of them to scale. We group the objects first or the objects are in separate panes. We also can set a single object to fill a pane. So let's place a few objects on the front panel. To set a single object to scale automatically when the pane resizes, right click the object and select Scale Object with Pane from the shortcut menu. If we set a single front panel object to scale, the object resizes itself automatically in relation to any change in the pane size. The other objects on the front panel reposition themselves to remain consistent with their previous placement on the front panel but do not scale to fit the new size of the pane. So let's resize the front panel and as soon as I release the resizing handle the gauge uh, changes the size but the other two do not and I, and I cannot resize the front panel any further since the gauge is at, it, at its smallest possible size. So let's resize it back up. The pane is expanding but the objects are not since I am holding down the mouse button. As soon as I release the mouse button the object resizes the one which we had specified to scale with the pane. The other two are not resizing. The resizing takes effect as soon as I release the mouse button. Immediately after we designate a single object on the front panel to scale automatically, gray lines outline several regions on the front panel since they are not clear so let's turn off the front panel grid so that those gray lines become visible so let's turn off the show grid panel and now you can see those gray gray lines the region defines positions of the other front panel objects in relation to the object we want to scale. When we resize the pane, the object we set to scale automatically resizes and repositions itself relative to its original location. The gray lines disappear when we run the VI. To set objects in an owning pane to scale automatically while the pane resizes, right click a splitter bar. So let's add a splitter bar vertical. So uh, right click the splitter bar and select pane sizing scale objects while resizing from the shortcut pane. So let's 
right click this pane and select scale objects while resizing let's check that this gauge is also set to scale with pin and now let's resize it and we can observe that I am holding the mouse down I have not released it and yet the object is resizing while I am resizing the front panel or the pane To set all objects in an owning pane to scale automatically when the pane resizes, right click a splitter bar and select pane sizing. Scale all objects with pane from the shortcut menu of the appropriate pane. If we set all objects on the pane to scale, all objects resizes and reposition automatically in relation to any change in the paint size. If we set all objects on a pane to scale and a single object on the pane is already set to scale, a dialog box appears that prompts us to select between setting automatic scaling for the object or for all objects on the pane. Let's place an object here and then let's set it to scale all objects with pane this object was already set to scale while resizing so this dialog box appears which says that we cannot set this VI to scale all objects with window because a single object has already been set to scale on this front panel do you want to what do you want to do scale all objects or scale a single object let's select scale all objects and now they are all scaling expanding and contracting as the pain is moving We can also use the so from this reference let's select splitter then go to splitter and the particular splitter that we want let's select pane right click create method and then we have set scaling mode so we can set the scaling mode no scaling scale all objects or scale single object and then we can provide the reference of the scalable object So when LabVIEW scales objects automatically, it follows the same conventions as when we resize an object manually. For example, some ob objects can resize only horizontally, like this numerics, and some can only vertically. And the font size remains the same when we resize an object.
the font size is not changing while the size of the object is. So after LabVIEW automatically scale an object, the object might not scale back to its exact original size when we size the pane back to its original position. As you can see here and here. Before we save the VI, you can select Edit and Undo to restore the original front panel window and object sizes. So let's talk about arrays and resizing. So we can set an array to scale or set the objects within an array to scale. If we set the array to scale, we adjust the number of rows and columns we can see within the array. So let's set it to scale. And now if we move the pane, you can observe that the number of rows and columns are changing. So let's turn it off. If we set the objects within the array to scale, we always see the same number of rows and columns, though different sizes within the array. And let's right click this LED and turn it to scale with pane. Drag release. So the number of rows are not changing, but the size of the objects are. So we can set a cluster to scale or set objects within the cluster to scale. Let's select uh, error cluster. If we set a cluster to scale, the objects within the cluster do not scale. And auto sizing should be set to none. So let's set it to scale with pane. And you can see that the objects are not sizing, only the borders of the cluster are changing. So let's have a new cluster. If we set objects within the cluster to scale, the cluster does not scale. If we set, for example, this numeric to scale, and the as you can see, these lines are now covering only this numeric, and the cluster is not set to size to fit, then if then we resize the pane. Only that particular control is now resizing. But if we 
set auto sizing to size to fit then as we move the pane the cluster is also resizing with it as you can observe that the border of the cluster is now expanding and only one object is now resizing with it the one that we had specified to do so to set a single object to fill the pane right click click the object and select fit control to pane from the shortcut menu the object should be the only object in the pane otherwise other objects are overlapped by the object we select to fit to the pane the object resizes itself to fill the pane and automatically resizes in relation to any change in the pane size 